Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster. So negotiating the best outcome. I recognize that this project is about finding mutually beneficial outcomes, but let's face it. It might really be about negotiating the best outcome for yourself without compromising too much. Take my recent hip replacement, for example. Postmasters has a workbook for this exercise for the for negotiating the best outcome. And I particularly like the goal setting worksheet. So the first thing you need to do in this worksheet is determine research needed prior to the negotiation. The main research I did was to find the best surgeon. I went to see them all. Some turned me away because my body shape was not what they wanted to work with, folds in all the wrong places, truly. Some spent the entire time talking about the construction, removing my leg, hammering in a new synthetic ball and socket, and putting my leg back together, while others spent time telling me all the things that could go wrong. Sometimes there's this thing as too much research. Thanks to our very own Fred Sadler, I found a surgeon at Stanford that answered all my questions and seemed like a competent and practical person, to say the least. The next, my Toastmasters book, I'm supposed to describe my ideal outcome. Well, that's an easy one. Let's say my ideal outcome is that I can walk again and have no infection. If I took it a step further, I would say no pain and hopefully greater range of motion. So my next task was to uh, identify the ways in which I will seek to connect with the negotiating parties. So how do you got, how do you connect with the negotiating parties? I always look for commonalities. Fred referred me to him because it's me. So let's talk about Fred. Oh, wait, that's off the table because of Pippa. Oh, well, let's talk about me and my hips, and that'll get them talking. And it did. <laughs> All right, commonalities. Next in the worksheet, what am I willing to sacrifice to reach a compromise? What are you willing to sacrifice when you're getting a hip replacement? Well, I don't really want to sacrifice anything. Sound familiar? In the end, when you go into the operating room, though, you need to be willing to sacrifice everything. Things could go wrong. But cutting off your leg and reattaching it. The statistics are good, but you never know. So lastly, I had to look at what do, what do I consider non-negotiable? So I do think I might have given this one away in the last question. Most of the time, you can determine the bottom line pretty easily. I won't stay in less than a five-star hotel. <laughs> I won't go to Hawaii for less than a month. You know, things like that. But when you're wheeled into the operating room and they strap you down and they flip that gown over your head, you are not in a good position for negotiating. <laughs> <laughs> but I still tried. Hey, can I get an extra hit of that sedation now? <laughs> I must have negotiated a good outcome as I'm here to talk about it and I'm headed back for the next hip in April here I'll give you a little demonstration I'm almost there walking pretty good so yeah back to get the second one in April and I'm sure I'll have another story to tell Mr. Toastmaster